Well, they're back, clinging jellyfish. Hey everybody, Andre Malloc here from NJ Advanced Media. Today I'm here on the banks of the Shrewsbury River in Monmouth Beach to try to capture some of these tiny little critters. Clinging jellyfish are very small jellies, um, somewhere dime quarter size is their maximum area. They like to be in shallow, lower salinity water, so our, our bays and estuaries are a perfect place for them to live. They're an invasive species. They're native to the Pacific, and they magically showed up, or at least were identified, last summer is the first time we've ever seen them in New Jersey. The big challenge with these little guys is they've got a very, very potent sting, and in many cases, severe pain, um, sometimes requiring hospitalization, happens with any of these guys and these stings. There we go. Right now, we're working with the DEP to try to understand where they are, so we're sampling again this region in the Shrewsbury, um, and we're also sampling um, the Manasquan in the northern part of Barnegat Bay, which is where the other one that was identified came from. So we're trying to bracket the places that we know. If you're using these waterways that are in these back bay areas for paddle boarding or sailing or swimming, um, there's always a chance that you might encounter them. Now, they tend to be uh, more active on cloudy days and at night. They tend to sort of stay clung to the vegetation during the day. They're just sort of down there and they tend to feed at night. Captain, Captain came through at the end. If their numbers are growing, then more and more areas may be affected and it might be more and more problematic moving forward. And that's really the, the concern of me as a scientist, uh, the DEP and the state is to understand where are they located, how many do they occur every year, how do we understand the population biology.